Hey guys, welcome back to the Hotel Dust Talk through me, the Johnny Monkey. And now, we enter the questioning section. Basically, remember those times when Kyle would cock his head in wonderment or whatever the word is and a question would appear above it? Yeah, this is where those things become important. Basically, you're given a list of queries which you can then ask directly here. Now, at this point it doesn't really matter much, it's just a way of continuing the cutscene in whatever order you desire. But in later stages of the game, the order you pick these questions in determines whether or not you can continue. Like for example, sometimes it's better to hold back and ask the gentle questions first and then suddenly press on with the more harder ones. Because if you go straight into the harder ones, the people will refuse to talk to you full pull out. But, yeah, it's probably best not to get into the... Let's see, this one here, it's basically just explaining the myth behind 215, that apparently it grants people's wishes, which I'll get more into in a moment. But, yeah. Package time. Package for you! Sorry, don't see nothing. Should be around here. Maybe you can actually move around or something. You said a package to a hotel when you don't even have a reservation? Nice. Oh, and this package better not be anything that's gonna cause problems. Oh, really? What problems? What kind of problems? That, why does he... That, that, what was the point of having separate text? Anyway. Better what you mean by inconvenience. I think it's pretty obvious, but... Uh, had a bit of trouble with a package of a, with another young guy like you. The thing turned into a damn circus. Let's just say I don't want to do anything like that again. And leave it at that. Bunch of lousy. I'll have the bellhop look for your package. If it shows up, he'll bring it up to your room. Well, that's good to know. Now to be extremely nosy! Talk about the trouble you mentioned earlier. What happened? That? Well, it was right about three years ago. The bellhop took a package up to a guest room, right? And then, BAM! A bunch of cops and detectives came storming in. Detectives? But I'm used to cops breaking into hotels, but detectives? Seeing my guest was a crook, part of some smuggling ring. He was using his hotel to fetch stolen goods. The whole thing was a damn mess. Gunshots in the hallway, screaming guests running every which way. I ain't never going through anything like that again. That's why the dust got a strip policy. No crooks and no cops! There are so many flaws of that policy, I don't know where to start. Okay, I can notice I'm having no crooks, but they're not going to admit that they are crooks, and I'm not exactly sure how every cops makes the situation. Oh, oh, never mind. It's time for the introduction of another character. And uh, yet yeah, another new voice. Pardon me one second. <coughs> I need a room for the night. Just another guess. <coughs> Welcome to my own little slice of heaven, Hotel Dusk. As luck would have it, we got vacancies. What kind of room are you looking for, darling? Well now, aren't you just a sweet talker? But there's a certain room I want. Which room's that? The one I saw in the newspaper article. I want the room on that special room, the wishing room. You got a room like that here, have you not? We certainly do. Unfortunately, ma'am, that room's... Oh dear, is it taken? That's right, and I'm damn sorry about it. Uh, I mean, I'm real sorry, ma'am. Unfortunately, I just handed it to probably the most cynical bastard on earth, and I seriously doubt he's going to believe my story about people who have... <laughs> oh, jeez. It's really hard to keep that up with a darling voice. But yeah, the general explanation of the room 215 it's basically a r the story goes that Dunning had two guests who were pretty much down in the dumps. They stayed one night in the room, came out, and apparently they both said, Room 215 is magic! It granted my wish! And they were all happy and content and stuff. And yeah, I think Kai Hyde's been a little bit too cynical here, but even I've got to admit, that's a stretch to suddenly call it a wish granting room when two people had it. I mean, it's a coincidence at best. But yeah, back to what's going on on screen. This is 
basically a summary of all the characters we've met so far. These are all the different sections of the journal. You can also save here, and as we've seen before, you can go to the memo and just write notes here. And for the record, just to say this right now, sorry if my voice for dubbing keeps changing. It's been a while since I recorded the first part since uh, I kind of had a bad cold so I really didn't want to try recording anything when my voice was going up and down and yeah I also wanted to release several of these parts at the same time because I don't know whether you've noticed it things happen at a much slower pace in this game but anyway we're now going to explore the wonders of the ending machine and see Join the hunt. Find seven lucky numbers hidden in this hotel. Oh, that's what the stickers are for! Oh, It's been a while since I've played this game, so it took me a while to remember that. Um, and... Oh, would you look at that? There's a sticker on this side. There's a sticker on the side of the vending machine. Let's point out the obvious. Plus 59, okay. So yeah, we know what to do now. We're gonna hit the journal hit the rubber so we can just get rid of the question mark and add plus 59 yep this is gonna be a side quest and join the excitement will we find all seven stickers and add them up correctly find out in the next exciting <laughs> um, I promise you there are more exciting cliffhangers than that like now Dylan said something while I was checking in your name really can't hide? Hi. 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 Nope, 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 nope. nope. forgot I said anything. anything. I wonder why my name got that reaction. Plot point! And now we'll now move on to more parts of the hotel and. Ooh, another plot point? That was the most pointless cutscene in my entire life. I mean, you know what? Just to spike them, I'm going to explore the rest of the hotel. Ah, oh, let's see, it's a restaurant that's closed. There's a chalkboard near the restaurant entrance. I'm going to stare at it. Just because I'm not going to be pushed towards the freaking stairs which I can see from a mile away. Honestly. But yeah, we'll be able to see the restaurant later, but not now. Parts of the hotel open up to you, well, you know, as the time progresses and chapters and so on. Oh, and would you look at that, there's another sticker. There's a sticker next to the frame. Minus 65. Oh, we're now going down to the numbers. <laughs> I know that with a negative number at this rate, we better find a higher number. And it's a fake line of poetry. Just leave a rhyme. That's kind of snobbish, I mean. Yeah, I'll admit I'm not the most greatest poet, in fact I've never written poetry in my life. Although members of my family have, but that's beside the point. The point is, I'm not sure if all poems need to rhyme exactly, but no, oh, never mind. Let's just head for the stairs and get on with the plot. <coughs> Up the wondrous stairs we go, and... Huh? There's some kid sitting on the stairs. Hey. What? You're blocking the stairs, kid. Move it. No! So this is how it's gonna be. Okay, let's try and be nice to her. What's the problem? I'm playing. Playing? This ain't a sandpit, kid. Duh, I know. These are the stairs. Smart kid, glad we agree. Now get out of my way. Oh god, I hate problem children. <coughs> Leave me alone! I'm not telling you anything, mister! What was that, kid? Okay, I... It's best not to explore, let's just... Why won't you tell me? That's what my mom told me! She said I should never tell straight as my name, especially jerks! Oh yeah, I am such a douche for wanting to climb up the freaking stairs! Oh, okay. okay, calm down then. If you're scary, what are you gonna do, huh? Well, that's a good question. I'm gonna punch her straight in the face. Oh, who am I kidding? I can punch a child even if I wanted to. 
And actually, having him call little Dolly is actually the most sensible thing to do. You call my mom? Hey, kid. So, where's your mom? She's not here. What? You're not traveling with her? Come on, kid. Knock it off, will you? Why don't you move? If there's a good reason, just tell me. I... I can't finish it. Can't finish what? I can't finish my puzzle. Oh, boy. I think everyone can see where this is going. A puzzle? How does a puzzle stop you from moving? I... I can't finish it. It's almost done, but... This kid's nuts! This isn't the place to be working on a puzzle. Can't you do it in your room? Or in the middle of the road? <laughs> oh, God. Well, gee, sorry. I don't know what it says about me that I love that line. <laughs> Okay, I can't finish this stupid puzzle because it's too hard, it's stupid! Insert your own video gamer joke here. <laughs> Give me a break, kid. A puzzle isn't something to ball about. Look, just let me do it for you, okay? Huh? Are you gonna help me, mister? Come. I'm going, like mister. My name's Carl Hyde. If you're gonna talk to me, at least use your name. Enough. This just here. Give me the puzzle. And here we go. It's puzzle solving time. This is actually pretty easy, really. You you can pretty much guess. You use the stars to move it, and then just press the things at the top to swing all around it. Yeah, it's it's really easy to solve. You can see that from my life. And just one more piece to go. Turn, turn, and... There we go! Cheesy kids puzzle solved! Not that hard! <laughs> now, take this mic and go to your room. What's wrong now? The puzzle's done, everything's okay! No, it's not! It's not? Why not? It just isn't! It's no funny when you don't do it myself! The girl throws the fish puzzle down on the stairs. Oh, for feck's sake! Ugh, I really hate it when kids do this! That's a fine way to show your gratitude. You talk too much. Nice attitude, kid. You better watch your step. Huh? Pick it up. No, you can't make me! You throw it down, so you pick it up. That's how things work. Well, the death or what? Answer me! Yeah, give it. Yeah. Let's try to be nice to kids, but sometimes you just have to be blunt. Although, having said that, it never really... <laughs> it's not worth for me. I mean, oh god. I know people who are teachers. I don't know how they can stand to work with kids like this every day. <laughs> oh, teachers are so undervalued. Anyway. Well, I guess they get grinded. What the hell? Ha 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 ha! I tricked you, stupid jerk! Okay, that's it. Next time, all bets are off. I no longer classify her as a child. The next time I see her, I am going to punish her in so many brutal ways, it's not even funny. And with that slightly psychotic tone, we pick up a puzzle piece, which again. Last point! Hmm. And from that we'll just save and end this part. That was me the Jolly Monkey and join us next time when we finally get to enter room 215.